Hello, welcome back to the James Ramblin Reviews for yet another review and in today's review, tonight's review, whenever you're watching this I'm going to be talking about The Last of Us and I talked, I've been talking about video games recently and this is a video This is a video game adaptation, of a show adaptation of the popular video games series or games called The Last of Us and it's about it's 20 years in a pandemic caused by a mass fungal infection, right? And then it, which it forces its host to transform into zombie-like, into zombie-like creatures and collapse society. So that's kind of the plot. But to give you a bit of background, because I like giving you a bit of context, don't want to just randomly throw something at you and like, oh, what are you talking about, right? So to give a bit of background, I've never played The Last of Us games. And so going into this show, it's like, mm, uh, okay. Originally, I never, I never wanted to watch this show because I was unsure about it. Never really played the games. Is is it really that good? And there's like this whole reputation of like these video game series that had video game like show adaptations. They've gotten a bad rap, like Halo and Resident Evil. So it's like, mm, is it worth watching? And then you go and find it for yourself. And I will say that I have enjoyed it and. There was a thing to do with behind the scenes how they, like Neil Druckmann, the creator of the games or whatever, like he told the cast not to play the games and force them not to play the games and it's like, and then when you watch the show, I thought it's got nine episodes, 40 minutes to an hour and it's like, okay, this is actually a good show and I have to say that when I watched the first episode, when I watched the first episode a few couple of days ago or whatever, I was like, mm, not convincing me, not convincing me. And then as I watched the episodes, episode 2 hits, and then episode 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it just gets better and better. And I have to say that it's... I I have to say that it, that it is kind of like the video game adaptation version of House of the Dragon, because with that, it was like every episode very consistent. There was a lot of things that were very good about it. And then you had Andor as well. It's like a lot of episodes that are very good about it. So, so there's those, those connections between shows I've seen, and then there's like shows like Kenobi. Like I'm glad the show is not like Kenobi, where it's like okay, it takes about five episodes to get going. So I'm glad that it picks up about episode two, and you follow the character Joe, who's played by Pedro Pascal. And you've got Ellie, played by Billy Ramsey, and you've got all this stuff. You've got the Fedra, the Fireflies, the Clickers, and all these zombies. And all this stuff, it's uh, it's like, you know, it's like this drama show with all this, all these. It's like simple characters come, well, yeah, simple char- yeah, some characters in a complex story kind of thing. And I do think the show manages it well. And it is very, very highly produced as well. Like when you watch this show, you can see they put a lot of they had a lot. It was a very high budget, so I definitely give it that. And I do like the intro when it starts out. Like it shows you how the the thing goes, and there's like this guitar and stuff. Like there's like a root of this infection thing, and it's like shows the last of us, right? And I never skip the intro. It's probably one of the shortest TV intros I've seen. Like, there's some TV intros that go on for a bit and then you have to skip it because it went on for that long. Like, some TV intros go on for, like, two minutes, I want to say. Like, Stranger Things had this... But this show just has a guitar, acoustic guitar, and then you're right into it. So there's that. But... I'll, I will give my thoughts, I might try and give my thoughts on each, well maybe not each episode, but I will just highlight that sort of thing. So episode 2 gave a bit more background as to what was going on. Episode 3, right, so what's going on, so I did like it, but it was like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 show. Then, like episode 3, it had this, introduced these two characters called Bill and Frank, developed that out, but I will say that that episode, when you watch the episodes preceding that it was like yeah it was a bit of a filler episode and while it made sense for the story and the thing it was trying to tell it didn't connect to everything else like you never had more of Bill and more of all that stuff because apparently in the game apparently in the game Bill and Joel spend more time with each other and stuff like that 
but it's like, you know, and I will say that I don't know every kind of difference between the game and the show. Like, did the show do it better? Did the game do it better? Did it expand this scene that was not so much in the game? I don't know any of that, because like I was saying earlier, it's like, yeah, I've never played the game before, the games, because there's two games, but, but you're like, episode three was good for what it was. Episode four, episode five, episode six is like, like a trio of greatness, like, I think that those three episodes are pretty good, but there is a bit of this thing that the show does, it's like, it kind of more so focuses on Joel and Ellie, and you do get, I do find, I did find myself getting really attached to them, but, like, they mention the zombies and stuff like that, and it's supposed to be a, a zombie show, and, like, plus, like, you know, post-apocalyptic or whatever you want, to, not post-apocalyptic, but apocalyptic or that stuff, right? But there's not really much zombies in it. I think, like, in episode five and, like, a bit towards the end of episode three, you see Bill killing all those not zombies and they're referred to as the clickers, right? Like I mentioned earlier. So it's like, there's, like, tiny bits, tiny glimpses of these zombies and there's a bit of that in episode seven when Ellie has that whole thing with that girl called Riley and stuff like that, there is that in there, and it's like that stuff, right, the zombies aren't really like the main focus of the series, and it's more so about developing that arc with Joel and Ellie, I think Pedro Pascal is very good, very good at what he does in this show, like he's very well at, he does, and I'm just glad that the show takes itself seriously, Okay, there is this bit where you have, you know, Ellie has this book called No Pun Intended, and there's all these jokes, but it's not Thor Love and Thunder where it's like, joke about this, joke about that, joke about that, joke about that, joke about that. They they let you sink into the seriousness and let you have, like, grasp with what's going on, you know, all this sad stuff that's happening. And so that's an aspect that is from other TV series that have been really good, because when a series takes itself seriously, and I'm pretty sure that the guy who actually wrote the show and was behind it, right, Neil Druckmann is, the creative artist of us, is in, sort of, in a big role, he's like an, ex- like, like what I'm trying to say is, he played a major part in the production and helping the guy out, but the guy was actually passionate about the game and he was saying, oh, I'm one of the best, one of the most well-written shows ever. You know, like, one of the most well-written, I know what, one of the most well-written games ever, one of the best, all that stuff, and it is a game that's very, very popular, and so, you know, you had these high expectations, oh, is it going to be as good, and, and it's, but yeah, like, the, like, he had that, where the guy was really passionate about the show, and so you took it seriously, and the no pun intended thing was like, you know, Ellie had this book of, like, these really, like, dad kind of jokes, you know, all these, like, dry jokes, so you have elements of that, <laughs> but there is, like, things like, like, the gate, like, like, the Bill and Frank stuff is just, it isn't, none of this stuff is woke either, like, I wouldn't say, wouldn't say it's that woke, it, like, it all actually makes sense, like, the things that you point out, like, saying, oh, it's not, it's this and that, it's crap and crap, actually do make sense, and there's also Sarah, Joel's daughter, but she kind of, she's kind of, like, the gone, so there's stuff like that, so, I mean, there's a lot to unpack with this series, but I just think it's, like, kind of an interesting thing of how, okay, you don't even need to play the game to understand what's going on, and so I think, overall, it's a decent series, but the final episode, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but I did just like the more of that interaction between Joel and Ellie, like, Pedro Pascal steals the show, Billy Ramsey, and I'm pretty sure, like, Billy Ramsey was in Game of Thrones, but she was like, you know, there was that, I'm pretty sure I remember hearing this complaint about how her face looked a bit off and stuff like that, and I'm like, mmm, it's okay, it's fine, and there's, like, this line about how, you know, like, like, Joel meets his brother Tommy, right, Joel meets his brother Tommy in, like, episode 6 or 7, I think, because I was binging it, and I don't remember every single detail, but he was, like, he met Tommy, and he drove, met his brother Tommy in this, like, the place called Wyoming, Wyoming is where he was trying to get to meet his brother, right, and so you had Tommy's, 
like love interest saying, Oh, this is a commune, like, oh we're a community, we're communists and there was some like lines like that, but it wasn't like it didn't put me off the show. Like I don't think any point at any point nothing put me off the show. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's a um it's a you know, it's a masterpiece sent down from heaven by God or anything like that because within the show when people got to see the show early back in January before it even, I'm pretty sure it came out in January, like early into January, I think, people were saying, oh, it's like this grand masterpiece, it's like sent down by the heavens, it's like, mm, is it really like that good? And then it's like, okay, you got to find it for yourself. And it's like, okay, it's actually a good show. But I bet you people who've played the games, like the deviations and the tangents that the show goes on, that kind of do other things compared to the game, are going to be like, oh my god, this show is terrible. But like with any kind of piece of media, you can't expect it to have like the most accurate beat by beat thing, but I'm hearing that the game is, ac- this show is accurate to the game. And it was always destined to be a TV show because of the way it's, you know, the way it's designed and the way the story goes. So, I feel like I've rambled a bit here, but, you know, I feel like this show is very good and I would recommend it. And there is there's a lot to unpack really. I'm not gonna go yeah. So yeah, and I will I do wanna add about how there was episode eight, which I thought was one of my fun favourite episodes. So this whole st- thing about how like Ellie encounters this like preacher dude and it's like he's really creepy and you figure out he's been eating these people because Ellie was hunting this deer, right, and then you that you, like, you'd think that they were eating the deer in this place, right, in this town or whatever, but they had, like, human bodies in this, in this soup, and it was like, oh my goodness, it's really creepy, and the guy just wanted to know so much stuff about Ellie, and he put her in this cage, and, oh, this, it was a weird episode, but Ellie just used this, like, meat cutter thing to ki- kill him, oh man, it was crazy, like, the show just had more, like, intense scenes and, you know, Joel, stuff like that. So, yeah, I th- I'm kind of going on for a bit here, but, yeah. So, overall, <laughs> I've been try, I've tried to sort of do my best here because it's such a, you know, the show has so many, a few, like, nine episodes. There's a lot to take in, so it's hard to do this in, like, five minutes. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review. What did you think of The Last of Us? Maybe tell me in the comments how accurate the Bill and Frank stuff was to the game or how they pulled off the stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Maybe we'll do more reviews. I've not really been able to see Ant-Man still. Still haven't been, seen, been able to see Cocaine Bear, but we're still putting out content, so, yeah. You don't expect there to be reviews. I said that last time, I think, or the time before that. Don't expect there to be reviews constantly because I'm not out seeing the movies every single week because, you know, I don't have that kind of energy, you know. I'm not like somebody who goes, oh, I'm going to see this movie this week, this week, this week, and I'm not binging it. And this was on, and I will say that this was the first time me just watching it now. I never watched it week by week by week because I wasn't sure if I wanted to see it early uh, when it came out. So yeah, Whew, sorry, but yeah, I just couldn't, like, it was just hard to keep this condensed because it's so much to impact. So see, yeah, uh, aye.